Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a wonderful condiment. It's this fig and onion jam. It can go on, well, I, I just wanna say anything. You could just eat it right out of the jar. Like, it's super tasty. If you are ready to like jam on it, then let's get to it. Okay, so to start this recipe, we're gonna melt some butter, and we're gonna add olive oil to our butter. Mix that together. And then we're gonna caramelize some onions. Okay, so I have this really interesting fact about figs. Did you know that figs are actually not a fruit? They're a flower. They're actually an inverted flower. So when they grow on the tree, this pod is not the fruit that you think it is. It's actually all of these little tiny flowers growing inside of it. Unlike an apple tree or a pear tree, it doesn't have the typical blossoms. You are actually eating the flower itself. This takes a long time. There's a lot of recipes online that say, oh, caramelize onions for like 10 minutes. Those are lying. It does not take 10 minutes to caramelize onions. So we're gonna cook these down. So like I said, the fig, that pod, that pear-shaped pod has flowers growing inside of it. And every single flower produces one single seed. So when you're eating a fig, that crunch that you get from eating them, you're actually eating those flower seeds. That's what the crunch is. Some people have said it's because you're eating bugs. Like there's this fig wasp related to the fig tree and you're actually not eating the wasp. Well, you're kind of eating the wasp, but I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Okay, like I said, that was that takes way longer than 10 minutes. Don't believe anyone that tells you otherwise. So these are nice and caramelized. Now we're gonna add in our other ingredients. Okay, so fig trees are actually self-fruiting trees. They actually produce both male figs and female figs. And in fact, we, and, you know, we don't actually eat the male figs as it should be. And also another fun fact about eating figs, here in the United States, California produces pretty much all of the figs that the country consumes as a whole. How crazy is that? We're gonna add in our figs, add in our honey, some sugar, and our spices. And just mix that all together. I'm just gonna cook this till it starts to cook down and simmer. We're gonna add in our salt and some pepper and just cook this about 30 minutes. Okay, so coming back to that fig wasp thing. So here's kind of a little bit of history. The fig wasp, which can only exist if there are fig trees, has this life cycle. It actually enters into, the, all fig wasps are female, sorta. They, the female wasp enters into the male fig and that's where it lays its eggs. The male babies then grow up impregnate the other female wasps that are also within the fig. And then those male babies go and eat their way out of the fig. But unfortunately, male fig wasps aren't born with wings. So they eat their way out and then they kind of go out there and just sort of die as it should be. The female wasps now pregnant with their like, you know, brother baby wasp thing going on with their baby bumps, work their way out through the fig but they have wings, so they fly out, and then the whole cycle starts over again. They go and find themselves a fig, and then they lay their eggs in that one, and it all goes again. That's the life cycle of the fig wasp. Okay, so that's cooked down. So we're gonna add in some vinegar, some balsamic, and work that in. So, are you actually eating a fig wasp? The answer is, well, no, but maybe yes. So a female wasp, burrows into the fig, but the wasp can't tell if it's a male fig or a female fig. It's like being a tourist in Thailand, it has no idea. So it burrows into the fig. If it's a male fig, everything is great. It goes in there, it lays its eggs, it dies, its babies grow up, they mate, they burrow out, all that stuff happens. If it's a female fig, well, the female fig anatomy is not set up for this process. So what happens is when it enters the fig, its wings get ripped off, as a result of entering the fig, and all it can do is sit there and wait to die. It's kind of like being at the DMV. So it sits there and it just hangs out until it dies. Now, are you actually eating that wasp? Well, here's the maybe part. The fig actually produces an enzyme that breaks down that wasp into proteins. So when you're eating a fig, you have eaten 
this wasp that has been broken down into proteins and then absorbed by the very fruit slash flower that you're consuming. So you're not eating a wasp in the traditional sense, if there is a traditional sense for eating wasps, but you're eating a wasp in the sense that it was probably once inside that fig. There you have it. And just turn off the heat. And once it cools, we're gonna give it a taste. And if it needs more vinegar, you just go ahead and add it in. And there you go, you have a delicious fig and onion jam. Super easy to make. Delicious over almost anything. Or just eat it on its own, no judgment. Big thanks to the California Fig Board for sending me all these delicious figs. I hope you like this recipe. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And hey, you know what? If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. I, I'm always looking for inspiration and suggestions. And if you love to cook like I do, then please subscribe. I release new videos every single week. Lots of fun seasonal fare, so be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.